Hi, another new film that I watched earlier today. Um, to add to the 2021 pile is Stowaway, a film co-written and directed by Joe Penner, who previously directed the film Arctic. And this is a similar survival story. Uh, it follows a uh, mission to Mars a few sometime into the future, where we have our three astronauts, an American played by Anna Kendrick, a Korean-American played by Daniel Day Kim, and the mission commander, an Australian played by Tony Collette. And there are one or two hiccups at the start of the uh, mission at the launch, but everything seems to go all right until a mechanical problem leads them to discover that a fourth person is inside the spacecraft. Um, some research and communications with ground control lead them to discover that he is a ground control engineer who somehow has become knocked out and trapped inside the uh, spacecraft before liftoff. And he is, once he recovers, very friendly and helpful. Um, he has absolutely no um, uh, malicious intent of any kind. He wants the mission to go well and is very happy to pull his weight on the ship and effectively work his passage. Problem, however, is there simply isn't enough oxygen for four people. So the film has a, a resulting dilemma of what do they do? Is Are they going to have to kill him or ask him to commit suicide? Are they going to have to find some kind of scientific solution to give them enough air to make the journey? Or will uh, an alternative measure present itself? Um, the film feels very claustrophobic, and I think that is where the main source of tension comes from. The entire film is set inside the capsule, and although we hear distant mutterings uh, over the uh, radio earpieces, we never actually clearly hear the voice of ground control. We just have these four characters in this one location for the entire film. On a technical level, it's very accomplished. Uh, the space sequences are uh, completely authentic seeming and believable. The problem, however, is with, I mean, really, with the script and the direction. Um, the pacing is a problem. There's never any sense of... Um, uh, uh, creating or releasing tension within the story itself. Um, and so when the uh, climax comes and the climactic sequence appears, it doesn't feel like it's the climax of the movie. Um, there is a resolution to the storyline, although uh, the film is a little coy in how, how it's presented. Um, but the other major problem, I feel, is the one at the film's core, which is it's never adequately explained how that fourth character played by Shamir Anderson actually gets stuck inside a panel and knocked unconscious during the uh, the um, preparations for the launch. Um, it's such an implausible idea, and it's it's never really detailed properly. And as a result, it's impossible to really care about the situation when it's built on something that is never explained and doesn't even seem possible. Uh, the science in the film, I'm also highly suspicious of. Apparently they had to have a scientific consultant uh, who is a YouTuber with a BSc in astronomy. Um, I know at least three people who I think would be better qualified for that job. Overall, it's it's a well-acted film. I mean, Kendrick and uh, Daniel Day Kim and Tony Collette are all fine actors. Shimmer Anderson, whom I haven't seen before, uh, is a, a charming, likeable presence. The film goes out of its way to make his character um, a good guy, someone you can easily sympathise with to make uh, the dilemma of his presence all the more difficult. But for all the skill from the actors and from the technicians, it never really overcomes the central problem in that the, st the central concept of the story is never properly explained and the story itself is never properly told in a way that makes you really engage with what's at stake. And as a result, it's absolutely a misfire.